All right, guys, welcome back to another Meyer League Monday. And this week's spotlight is on the Reading Fighting Phils and their alternate hat. Uh, the Reading Fighting Phils were originally, well, they've been known for a long time as just the uh, Reading Phillies, uh, their affiliate of the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, but uh, in 2013, they kind of rebranded, they changed it, they added the fighting part. Uh, and so their mascot became a ostrich. So what you're looking at is the alternate hat. Um, so it's got the really stylized ostrich. Uh, it's your kind of red New Era logo on the side. Uh, minor league logo, of course, here. But, um, you know, just... Uh, it's an odd cap. Uh, you know, the last couple, the last couple uh, episodes, I guess we've had. Um, you've seen some very really traditional minor league logos, but those are the ones I've been designed earlier. If you've uh, kind of noticed, this is a new design. Minor league is all about kind of wacky design, so that's what they have. Um, in fact, so this is their one of their alternate hats. They also introduced at the same time. This is kind of one of the Rhodes alternates here. Um, it's called, the logo you're looking at is a uh, Bunbino, like Bambino, except with a hot dog bun. Uh, it's a dude, or uh, it's a hot dog with a baseball bat. Um, but this was, uh, this is kind of their, one of their alternate road hats. So it's kind of the, the powder blue, Carolina blue. That logo. Air on the side, but let's add these back here. But uh, again, just you know, this is kind of example to uh, this kind of exemplifies minor league logos nowadays. It's just wacky and wild. Um, you know, minor league baseball. It's really entertainment. Uh, on all levels and, and you know people are the franchises are really trying to draw in families and uh, make it kind of an overall family event not just um, people going to a, uh, a stadium and watching a baseball game uh, you go to most minor league parks uh, you know you have weird things um, the one here um, kind of where I live now it's a carousel you know th there's always things for the fans and things for the kids uh, just to make sure that the Overall experience is entertaining and it's not just, uh, again, just people going and watching a, a ball game. So, anyway, that's it for Meyer League Monday. We'll see you next week.